And but I will say this though, speaking of Canelo, I think Bud need to stay the hell away from old cinnamon. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie because you know what's funny? Like Bud says that uh, uh, Israel Madrimov surprised him with his patience. If I was to say anything that surprised me, it's his patience. You know, he was real patient in there. Well, it ain't, ain't too many more patient than old cinnamon. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNJ, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. We just witnessed the phenomenal, amazing, absolutely dope card, you know, fantastic card uh, of, of Riyadh CZ. You know, Big Turk, he just infiltrated America, invaded LA with the great card headlined by uh, Terrence Bud Crawford versus Israel Madrimov. You know, Terrence Bud Crawford, yes, number one pound for pound. I feel like he reclaimed his position, but it's still, it's still interchangeable, man. Still an argument, still a debate that can be made between the three fighters. I think it's interchangeable between Naya Inouye, uh, Alexander Usyk, and Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, me personally, before last night, I had Alexander Usyk number one because he had the he he, he claimed the undisputed heavyweight title for the first time and um uh with first undisputed heavyweight in, in a quarter century, 25 years. And then Naya Inouye, you know, he he's been so active. You know, he, he's been active as much as you want. Every 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 seems like he's fighting every other month. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. But it, but Terrence Crawford, I think he had the best performance uh uh, uh dismantling Errol Spence last year yeah. you know but it was a year ago you know what I'm saying that was two pound for pound fighters so that was a great performance but it was over a year ago up until yesterday but Terrence Crawford came back in a new division debuted against a champion at that division and, 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 and became a champion you know at 154 man junior middleweight so to me that's undeniable greatness you know what I'm saying and not, all, all three of them are undeniable greatness but it's neither here nor there if you have any order of those three it's fine For me personally I have um, I have uh, Terrence Blake Crawford supplanting the other two and being number one right now at this moment man but let's talk about the meat and potatoes was important man israel madrimov put on a show terrence crawford put on a show it was a great fight if you didn't like that fight i don't know what to tell you you know what i'm saying you got tightened up <laughs> with your boxing fandom and i just i just think that um you know i had it 116 112 but it was a there was a lot of swing rounds man it was i had a 116 112 i could see it being 115 113 <laughs> And there was a lot of swing rounds. You know, Eddie Eddie Hearn was mad because, you know, he felt like uh, a, a lot of rounds couldn't win Israel Madrimal's way. He felt like he's a champion. You got to take it from the champion. But you got to understand, too, you know, um, some, some fighters are bigger than a belt. You know, and Terrence Crawford's one of those fighters. You know, absolutely Canelo's bigger than a belt. You know, he's a face of boxing. You know, just like Floyd was. And you can make an argument for some other fighters, but Terrence Crawford, he's an all-time great. So belts are, 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 are add to your legacy. But in this position, you know, even though he wasn't the champion at 154, he was a champion. Anytime he fights, he's a champion, you know. So um, he's recognized as a champion, you know. Um, so I think that Terrence Crawford, um, I thought he did enough and I thought he won the fight, you know. But I could see an argument for Israel Madrimov because he he, he he surprised me. He even, even surprised uh, my bad. It's real windy out here, man, but I, I enjoy it. So I ain't going to apologize for the weather. That's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a very much, very much so a blessing. But Israel Madrimov, you know, I thought he fought very well. He was more patient than I thought. Even more, even even more patient than Terrence Crawford and his t and his team thought, you know. If I was to say anything that surprised me, it's his patience. You know, he was real patient in there. Uh, that's, that surprised them. That surprised me as well. I think Israel Madrimov. He even though he lost on paper and he lost officially. I don't think he really lost when it comes to, you know, the experience that he gained and, and the fans that he gained. You know, I was already a fan of him. I'm even more of a bigger fan. You know, he was very patient, showed different aspects of his game. We anticipate him to just uh, uh, utilize and, and I guess abuse his athleticism, right? Because he's very athletic. And Terrence Crawford is, um, is, 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 is underestimated. His athleticism is underestimated, too. But I would say out, out of the two here right now, especially with Terrence Crawford being 36 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. And Israel Madrimov being the younger fighter, he's more athletic, but he was very patient, man. Surprisingly patient. He was popping Terrence Crawford, you know. What do you mean by that? And, and you know him being the naturally bigger, stronger guy, man. That was that was uh, troublesome for Terrence Crawford. But I just thought he, he he was precise. Terrence Crawford picked his spots. He knew when to take over. You know, veteran. That's that's a veteran. Um, uh, um, 
experience with him, man. And I just thought he did very well, man. But Badger Mafia definitely earned earned fans. You know, I, I could compare him to like Bivol, right? Like Bivol, how he earned fans and beating Canelo because he was relatively unknown when Canelo was a, was a, was a man, you know. And um, he, whether or not Canelo was a champion after he moved up, you know, he, he was the man and or is the man still currently, old Cinnamon. And um, you know, Bivol gained a lot of fans, but the difference is the key difference is Bivol won and Badger Mafia didn't win. You know what I'm saying? But it's still good to up his stock, and I think that Badger Mafia could utilize this experience and. And improve similar to what Canelo did against Floyd, then he's going to be great, man. You know, I think Jaime Munguia can improve after losing to Canelo as well. I think Frank Martin can can improve losing to Javante Take Davis. Is just how you utilize these experiences, man. Because you could argue, and I will make this argument. I'll stand on this that that Canelo losing to Floyd was the best thing that could have happened to his career because his game completely changed for the better. You know what I'm saying? So implementing head movement just improved. So I think Israel Majumov, man, the rest of the 154 pound division is in trouble. I think he's going to bounce back, and I look forward to seeing more of him, man. And I just think that um, he's good. You know, like and I just think this experience could be similar to Bivol beating Canelo, even though Bivol won and Israel Majumov didn't win, but he still looked good while in a loss. You know? Hey, 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 oh. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look how Pitbull, look how Pitbull um, carried the momentum from just not being knocked out by Tank. He didn't win either, but he just didn't get knocked out. And he rolled that momentum onto another championship, even though he just lost by Valenzuela. But that's a whole another video and a whole other story for another day, another time. We ain't got it right now. So let's keep it, let's, let, let, let's, let's keep it on topic. And I think that, you know, with that being said, you know, um, as you imagine off, he just looked like, he was more of a problem for Terrence Crawford than they anticipated, but Terrence Crawford being the, the being the savvy, cerebral, precise puncher that he is and, and, and intelligent fighter that he is, you know, he, he had enough to overcome. And, you know, they, they, their preparation is, is, is second to none, you know, so shout out to the whole, the whole team. And But I will say this, though, speaking of Canelo, I think Bud need to stay the hell away from old cinnamon. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, because, you know, what's funny, like, Bud says that uh, uh, Israel Madrimov surprised him with his patience. Well... Ain't, ain't too many more patient than old cinnamon, you know what I'm saying? So old Canelo Alvarez is very patient. Now I will say this though, the, 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 there is a flip side to that. The flip side is that you know he didn't anticipate Badrovov to be patient because he doesn't uh, uh, demonstrate or exercise that much patience in other fights, you know, in the past. So that changed. Now if you're going into a Canelo fight, I would assume that you would expect him to be patient and pick his shots similar to the way Terrence Crawford does, you know? So I would say that though, it could catch you off guard and it's sometimes different. It's not that you can't handle what's coming at you. It's just that you didn't expect and anticipate it. So it'll make you handle it differently. So, but anyway, with that being said, I think Canelo is patient, even more patient and Canelo is bigger, you know, saying two weight class is bigger, you know, not 160, 168, you know? And I think that the, the punches that Israel Madrimov was throwing at Terrence Crawford at times looked like it was a uh, more, it, it, it was stronger and then, then, and then, then he thought it. I thought, I thought that um, you know, Israel Majumov was definitely affecting him with his punches. And can you imagine if that was Canelo? Now I will say that Canelo is, is a bit slower and less athletic than Israel Majumov. However, you know, I still think that Canelo is, is just too big and too gifted um, for 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 Crawford. Now, I'm not saying he's now, now before you get upset. I'm not saying he's more gifted than Terrence Crawford, but I'm saying when you couple his gift, because people people underestimate how good Canelo is. He's very skillful as well. I would say that Terrence Crawford is more skillful, but when you couple that with him being larger, significantly larger, not taller, but significantly larger as far as mass goes, then you got to lean towards Canelo. And I think that last night, although it showed me that Terrence Crawford is, 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 is a beast, you know what I'm saying? Being undisputed at 140, undisputed at 147, now reigning at, uh, trying to go for a reign in, at 154. And I, and I would, and I don't think it's just hype. I actually think that Israel Madrimov may be the best champion at 154 right now. You know, I think Israel Madrimov is better than Fundora. And I think Israel Madrimov is better than Bakram Merzatali. And those are the two other title holders. So I think Israel Madrimov is the best and he could do, do this to them. Then I think the rest of the division is in trouble. And I think that if, in the in the event that Canelo does accept the fight to fight Terrence Crawford because that's what all this is for, then the rest of the 154 pound division is in trouble because Madrimov is, is a beast. I think he's only going to get better, man. Um, so yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. In my opinion, uh, Terrence Crawford, the two main things is that Terrence Crawford is back to pound for pound number one, and I think that he 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 has beat the best champion in 154. So if he decides to go for undisputed, I think he'll get it. And also, most importantly, man, uh, 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 while he is shining and stuff like that, I do think he needs to stay away from Canelo. And I said this before, and this just reinforced that. I think that Canelo is just too big, man. He's just too big. Him. What do you mean by that? 
and 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 and, and the skill gap is not that wide. You know, the the, the 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 disparity there is not that wide for, in my opinion, for Terrence Bud to cro- conquer that. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all argument as always, man. Did y'all enjoy the card? I did. I'm gonna drop some more videos regarding the other fights, man, and upsets. You know what I'm talking about? I appreciate y'all rocking me. The doctor's out. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.